Leather belt. Groove life. This belt looks kind of used. I like this one a little bit. Belt's trash. This belt, though, this is where it's at. Groove life. Let me tell you about it. The interesting part about this belt is this right here is a Groove Life belt. It has neodymium magnets. That's on the inside of the belt. It has a snap tech, so it does snap together, just like I'll show you in a second. And it has A380 aluminum alloy buckle right there. It's proprietary webbing. It has an anti-flap, which is here to keep that flap in place. It has stiff tech, and it's pretty stiff and standard. This doesn't bend easy, as you can see. So it'll keep it shaped. And it's only 60 bucks. So enough talk, let's demonstrate. Now the specifications of this product, I like to get hands on and do a couple tests myself and show the people of the product that I'm pumped about. So here it is. I have my MMP shield. Always make sure your weapon is clear and safe and there's no ammo present during demonstration or dry fire. So with the appendix carry, let me get it off my little loop here. All right. With the appendix carry, it is comfortable as an everyday carry. I can still do my around the world circles and it feels good. Um, like I said earlier, it does have that same type of ideal theory of the Pitbull Tactical Magazine where it uses the compression um, once you insert an object. So, same thing with this. Feels really good. Appendix carry. It does feel good as well at the 4 o'clock position. I've had no problems there. Oh boy, a little bit rusty. Get my shirt out the way. I've had no problems here. It's worked out pretty well. So that works out. Now, what I did notice because the MP shield and other everyday carries some, this has a rounded trigger guard. Now, check this out. I also have a Glock 19 with a pointed trigger guard, okay? I'm going to use the same inside the waistband carry at the 4 o'clock, but there is something I noticed about this compression. So, you're going to see it right now. And when I go to draw, and I punch out, and then go to reholster, most of the time, it does that. Now, I'm forcing it down. So I go to draw, rehold. It's working out good for clock position. Now, as you see, it does tend to snag from the corner piece because as I'm drawing, this is compressing back in as it is designed to do. When I go to reholster, it sometimes will get stuck on the edge. Now at the four o'clock position, I'm sorry, appendix carry, if I get my belt loop out the way, don't have that problem because there's a lot of space in between here, which is not at the four o'clock part, right? So here, as you can see, I have no problem with the appendix carry. All right, so back to the four o'clock. I'll show you the side view so you can see. Now see how my jeans are wrapped real tight and tight up to that point? Let me make sure it's not folded. Okay, because I tried this with other pants too, just in case it was me. So I draw, holster, draw, holster, draw, draw, Holster. Let me fix my. There it is. That I don't like. Okay. 
So that to me would be considered a flaw. Um, unless you do a pen mix here all the time, that'll work out great. Out of 10 times, it may happen once, maybe twice, but if you force it in there, it'll go past that and actually holster properly. And like I said, with the shield, did not have that problem whatsoever. No matter how many times I holstered and put it back, because it's rounded, it's just smoother. That's the only thing. Now, the other part about this is, guess what? It fits one and a half inch, bam, for your pit bull tactical. So, for under a hundred bucks, you got shipping and handling, you can get a $25 pit bull tactical magazine, which you can go back to episode four and check that out, because this is, by far one of the best products that I have. I'm sure a lot of other people would agree if they have it. Um, and you have a $60 EDC groove life belt with snap tech technology. So I like it. I think it's a lot better than that garbage le leather belt that I had. I think it's trash. Okay, you can go buy a regular belt if you want to. Um, the durability is here, which I like that. I do like that it, as you can see, it comes back to that regular shape, right? And I tighten this thing too, and you can tighten it, adjust it, whatever. But I did tighten it, and I did also loosen it to see if it was really just this corner, or is it the way that the gun is interacting when I'm reholstering. So as far as I'm concerned, it is just this corner because I have dry fired, holstered and reholstered with this three times as more just to try and get that same effect, didn't happen. So for Glock users, you may appendix carry to work out great for you if you carry from the side or if it may be just inside the waistband. You might have some problems, so I'm letting you know that up front um, or anyone for that matter that has a squared point with a tr for a trigger guard. You can shave that down if you want to, most people don't. Um, but that's my review. So as far as, as far as being comfortable, it's a belt, so you can't really rate that. Um, durability, uh, I think I'd give it a five out of five. Um, mobility, it's very flexible, so I can do everything just like a normal belt. Now I haven't, did some rolling with this yet, which I plan to, but um, as far as, what's the other thing? Um, it is low profile, so it's not one of those super Gucci gear tactical belts, you know, it's a regular belt. It keeps your pants up, it has, it doesn't have any wear that I'm aware of, like the magnet should last a pretty long time. Um, what else? As far as functionality is concerned, if I can give it a 4.5 out of 5 or 4, if they allow me to give 0.5, it's only because a lot of people will carry Glocks such as this and other forms of handguns that have this pointed end, that may be a problem for them. If you have one and it's not a problem, let me know. It may just be me, but that is the one, the first thing I know is when I took it to the range, I went to put it back and I was like, what the heck? And I went to look and it was snagging on the belt. I'm like, let me try it again. And it, you know, it snagged every once in a while. And I'm like, well, we can't have that. So I carry my shield. But that's really all I had to say as far as an honest review. It's a good belt for 60 bucks because most of the uh, other tactical belts, they're like a hundred and up. Um, and they're good quality and stuff too, but you're gonna pay a pretty penny for it. Um, so this one I found was a happy medium, not too expensive, I mean, 60 bucks and you get all the functionality and stuff you do without the full price tag and you get durability. So that would be my choice. It does come in a range of different colors instead of just one color or a military color. Um, 
So this, the, it comes in black. You know, you can go look up the website on groovelife.com um, and then check it out from there. So, yeah, that's what it is. So, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something new. And, uh, you know, for under 100 bucks, you get two of the most essential things, which is your magazine carrier and your belt, which you're going to carry your stuff on. Have a good day.